Hey, what do you do, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got a good video for you guys. I had something happen to me today that was a first. Now, I've had tires blow out on me before. Part of being a truck driver is it just happens. It's, you can't avoid it. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. A lot of rubber on the ground. They pick up screws, nails, you name it. And sometimes when you're driving in the middle of the day, it just happens. You get a tire that gets low, you guys are loaded, boom. It's bad, it happens. There are things that you can do to prevent it. For me, once a week, typically it's Monday mornings, but if I'm not working on a Monday and I start on a Tuesday, then it's Tuesday morning. But you guys get the point. I go around the truck and I check every single tire with a pressure gauge. Just make sure they're all within tolerance. And then the following days throughout the week, I just go around and I give it the good old kick test, make sure that they still have air. That's pretty much worked for me my entire career of truck driving. On this week, yesterday, which was Monday, I did my initial pressure check on all the tires. They were all good. I was running all day on Monday. And then today, when I started up, I did my check. I checked all the lights. I walked around, I kicked all the tires. They were all good. So I went to go get some asphalt, pulled into Vulcan, um, waited in line for a little bit. Got loaded up. Got on the road, I was headed to where the job site was. And um, so I had this Super 10 come up to me, and you guys, I'm okay in Spanish, but Spanish on the CB radios is always hard. He's like, like, like it was really hard to understand. But basically he told me that my tire was flat in Spanish and that it was on my left axle. So I immediately pull over, I lift up the axle, and I come look at it, and it's like super worn out. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like real quick. So you guys can see this black ring right here and how it's super squishy. Um, that means that this tire is pretty much trash. If I come to the back side, you guys will see that it is not squishy. Squishy. But anyhow, sometimes it's just unavoidable. I got super lucky though that a truck driver came up to me and was like super nice, let me know what was actually happening. And so I was able to get it resolved today, but I wanna show you guys the inside of this tire. This blew my mind. The guys at the tire shop told me that this is what a tire looks like about 30 seconds before it blows. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something super crazy right now. This is what happens right before the tire goes boom and gives up the ghost. So check this out. No jacks required. Oh man. All right, we are in business. Let's hit the road. You guys, I love border tire. I literally in and out of here in 25 minutes. So that was take good care of me. You know what the best part about ending my day is? My drive home, my watch thinks I'm riding a bike. So it thinks that I'm getting exercise in. Just because it's a windy road that we live off of. So anyhow, I just want to show you guys that. I thought it was super cool. I've never seen rubber dust like that inside of a tire. It was super rad. So big shout out to the truck driver that actually let me know what was happening. But I do have something cool that I want to show you guys. You see these? This is the final piece to my Traxxas UDR. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. I ordered a bunch of stuff for it the other day and it came in and I put it on and then I realized I ordered some of the wrong parts. So we're gonna get that thing back together. We're gonna do some little test drives. And then, uh, yeah, there'll be some other odds and ends in this video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and show you guys the rest. I just realized in the last video, I did not actually show you guys the tarp. So let's climb up here real quick and I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful full tarp tarp. So for those of you who might not be truckers, this might not be very exciting, but for me, this is kind of a big deal because pull tarps make, like, in my opinion, the best tarps in the industry. But the last tarp that I had on here was kind of a cheapy one that I just bought just because my other one that the truck came with had ripped to shreds. So I was like, oh, they're gonna get ripped to shreds anyways. I bought a cheap one, and it literally lasted me probably like six months before it just started to fall apart. It was just already bad shape, so. All right, you guys can see my old tarp here. Pretty much trash, it literally is ripped down the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this thing up the dumpster and throw it away. So I went ahead and spent the extra money on the pole tarps and I took the truck down there, they measure it, they build it to spec and it turned out super nice. This is the ultra mesh material, um, super digging it. So like I said, may it not be a huge deal to you guys that are not dump truck drivers, but for me, this is kind of sweet. I'm hoping this one lasts me at least two years, if not more, because this thing was like probably four times the price of the other tarp that I bought. But you can definitely tell that the quality is there it's a much thicker material this one's called the super mesh so anyhow that's not going to be what today's video is about we are going to get back into the rc world a little bit and i did get some parts to fix the traxxas udr so let me go ahead and show you guys those all right well, we got the udr right here i got my parts in finally i'm gonna go ahead and uh take this apart so we can get it put back together and we might go drive it on the track for a little bit 
All right, well, let's go ahead and get these batteries charging so by the time we are done, we can actually play with it. All right, you guys can see that that bolt is bent just a little bit. All right, let's see what's in box number one, if I can figure out how to open it. Oh, you want to open it? Yeah. All right, what's in there? Ooh, stickers, nice Stickers. stickers. Bit of on racing development. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, those are looking pretty fancy. Wrapped up nicely. Ooh, dang. Dad, is it okay if I can use this? Yeah, you can have that. I'm trying to make something, you guys. Dang, <laughs> those are pretty beefy. And then this is just a direct Traxxas replacement part for this guy right here that disappeared when this broke. All right, take this little metal key off. These are also upgrades, they come with plastic ones. I strongly suggest getting the metal ones. All right, so here's the old one, you can see where like the steering knuckle broke off. Here's the new one. I'm thinking it's gonna be quite a bit stronger, hopefully. That's the plan at least. It even comes with a new bearing. So you gotta pop this guy out, pull that little pin out. This should just push out, I think. Yeah, I need both hands though, let's see. There we go, put that back down, push this guy back over it, and push this pin back through, and this guy sits on top of it like so, and there's your bearing. Before we get too far into this, I was watching my last video and I realized I didn't really show you guys the new grinder that I bought, and it's super rad. So I've always thought that Makita has like really strong grinder games. So this one's a little bit bigger than the one that I showed you in the last video. And when they do like the quick change on this one, that's gonna be super rad, because I love that grinder. It's not like the big Bahama Mamas, but it's big enough to where it can do most of the stuff that I need to do with it. But I'm gonna show you guys that little grinder real quick in a little bit better detail. So it's really nice because traditional, I have like two or three grinders when I'm working on a project. And so for people that want to like bounce back and forth between grinders, this thing is great because it takes no tools to change this out. And it literally you can do it in like 10 seconds. So if I had both hands, I could do it super quick, but you literally, so you literally just pull this up and it pops off. You push it back on and it's on. I did that one handed in less than 10 seconds. So imagine if you guys had both hands, super rad. I've always loved Makita grinders. Um, highly recommend getting this. And right now I think at Home Depot they have a promo going on where it's three discs for the price of two. And so for you guys that are familiar with these Diablo discs, I love them, but they're like eight or nine dollars a piece. So really you just have to get like 10 packs of those and then this thing's paid for. So you're gonna use the grinding discs anyways and this is super awesome how they change out. So anyhow, we're gonna get back into them. Kind of disappointing, but I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek. But it's still not working. Maybe by the next video. Oh yeah, beautiful. Full drawer of grinding discs. I love it. So the supply chain blues are a real thing. I have been looking for this guy for a long time and I finally found it. This one's made by Milton. And what it's for, it's the quick disconnect for this big bad dog. Till now, I have had the hose just plumbed directly into here. So I finally found this and I get to use the hose like it was intended. Which is cool because now I can get a reducer from this to run my normal size because volume is king when you're running air tools. But so now I can just disconnect it and wind it up like a normal hose and it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Quick side duty tour. All right, well, we're just working up in the shop, got my helper with me. Um, he's being a little bit shy right now. But we got the Traxxas UDR right here. Here's the steering knuckle. Now I almost had it all put back together. I was like super excited. But what happened was when this steering knuckle broke off, the front CVD shaft fell out. And I didn't realize that until I went to go drive it again and it was missing. So I ordered the gnarly HR Racing front CVD shaft. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Then I'm hoping that this thing will be officially bulletproof. Well, here they are. I wish they'd have had them in red, but they didn't. So they'll have to do, because everything else that's anodized on this truck is red. Red, 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 red. Dad, some of it's not red. So this is stock and this is stock, and we're gonna be replacing both of these. I'll show you guys this next to the new aftermarket one and this one to the upgraded CVD shaft. There's just like a couple screws that hold this in place. So let me show you guys the new upgraded parts. All right, well I know the lighting's like really bad. I just got one little work light up here. But um, here's the stock piece. This one is not broken, but you guys can see that like, it obviously breaks very easily. This is the top and bottom to it. Here's the other broken side. And then this is the stock CVD shaft. We're gonna hold on to this one just because 
these things do break frequently. So here's the stock one compared to the aftermarket one. A little bit more substantial this guy. All right, well we are back together. Got both the tires. I did find that nut that we were missing. For those of you who are watching the live video, uh, we lost the nut that holds this tire on for a little bit. But we found it. So we're gonna go ahead and put some batteries in there. We're gonna let this little guy drive it. You ready? Yeah. You wanna drive it? Yeah. He's been waiting up here and it's actually been kind of chilly. So we're gonna throw some batteries in this thing. We're gonna see how it runs. And uh, we're just gonna put two 2S batteries in it, not the two 3S. see how it's gonna run. You wanna see how it goes? Yeah. All right, you think you can handle it? Yeah. All right, let's put the batteries in it. Alright, here we go. This is the first test run and then I'll let my boy do it. So this is on two 2S batteries. Alright, here you go. Dad, it's actually pretty cold. Pretty cold? Okay, don't. Yeah. How do I do it? Alright, hold on. Don't touch anything yet, okay? Okay. I'm gonna set this up so I can help you just a little bit, okay? Hey, can you help me if I don't know where it is? Yeah, I'll help you. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna go slow, okay? Here comes mom. Ah, it's bigger than the Valsico. You're fine. Alright, so this whole front end is pretty much aftermarket now. Everything's like machined aluminum. This is not, obviously. Alright, let me show you guys a couple things real quick before I go. Pretty much everything on the bottom side of this is now some sort of machined aluminum. So if you guys buy a Traxxas UDR, they are super fun to drive. Um, but I would buy these rear arms, like get the upgraded aluminum ones, like instantly. Because I bought this, and within 30 seconds these arms, they broke. So what's cool about this truck is I think it was actually built to scale of like an actual racing truck. Um, don't quote me on that, could be wrong. But it's a super fun truck to drive. All right, well, she is back on the road. I guess I should give Ryan a call so now that I have a, uh, a truck that's similar in size to his, we can maybe do some, uh, some actual racing. But I gotta get my boy home. He's kind of cold, it's starting to get chilly out here. Thank you guys for watching. If you do me a huge solid like, subscribe, share this video with your amigos, hit that notification button so you guys can see the other stuff we got going on. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.